Day is 28th of August 2019, day 3 of inflation. This 4 years old female spayed crossbreed came in last 3 days for having bloody diarrhea and vomiting. Okay, now according to the owner, the dog had bloody diarrhea for 3 days before he came to see us. He went to another vet earlier on near his house but uh, there was a Sunday, the vet was busy and so rejected him. So the next day, Monday, his friend asked him to come here and uh, we have treated the dog for bloody diarrhea. So far, there is no diarrhea and the dog is still quite active as you can see, but uh, the dog does not eat. Now there, there is another problem with this dog. The owner complained that the skin, itchiness, comes and goes, but never fully recovered. So. I saw that there were some dandruff scales on the back and you can see that there are actually signs of ringworm. You see the rings, okay, the rings and uh, when you clip the hair board you can see a lot of rings, huh? mainly on this shoulder, this is where he wear the, he wear the harness, right? He wear. Mm. And then, uh, in fact more than that, yeah, I'm sure the elbow also is a ringworm case, elbow also. Now the ears is the one, okay, the ears, no. You see the ear here, this part, the shoulder, no, this part first. Now normally the hair should be there, this part, there, and this part also. Okay. And then we see the inside, the ears, they are rashes. Now those could be ringworm lesion, ah, there's one red one there. And uh, there are several red spots there. So those are likely ringworm, but uh, we will do a culture. And this culture, just show the. Uh, this culture is called the intray. Intray time to five million. Mm. This one we will culture for ringworm, taking the hair samples, and about two weeks, right? Yes, doc. The medium will turn red, and then if there's a ringworm or fungus, and you can we can check for what type of fungus it is under a microscope. Okay, so that is the for fungal analysis. Now the blood test. But that is meant for the the to check whether the dog has infection or not. Now the total white cell count is normal. As you can see, 15 is about 17. Eh? So we would say this dog does not have okay. leukocytosis or neutrophilia. Neutrophils will be 79%, which is about the normal range, but you can see absolute numbers is about how many? How many? 12? 12.22 uh, 12 uh, So that is okay. Normally it's 3 to 11.5 So there is no bacter bacteria in the blood. Now we look at the hemoglobin and the uh, red blood cells they are, they are increased above the normal range which is very unusual could be due to the stress of vomiting, uh, diarrhea as well, about four days before treatment. Then you can see what's the other one, hematocrit. Also, it's a bit higher and normal. Okay, now let's look at the dog. Is it anemic now? Open the mouth and see. It's going home today because it will eat at home. No, just check the gums. Is it ulcer there? No. No. There, there's a bit, no ulcers. Check further down. There's tartar. Is it tartar? Yeah, yes. Just open the, the back teeth here. The back one. Normally it's a premolar, is that's the important one. How is it? Premolar? The other side. This dog needs dental actually. Okay, some more. That is uh the gums looks okay. That it's not anemic, yeah. How's the tartar? Very bad. Okay, so in conclusion, this dog has two medical conditions. One is gastroenteritis, but not due to virus or bacteria. And the other one is uh, fungal infection. So most likely ringworm. Uh, so that's the reason why he didn't recover fully. The environment may be contaminated and uh, 
see the below? And so the dog has not healed. Eh? Has not healed very well. So we will give antifungus, the point there. Eh? Uh, a lot of rashes. On there, this part, uh, you can see some of there are real rings. Any ring there? No. No dog. Mm. So, rashes. I'm surprised the, the head. Here. Yeah, the head didn't get it. Yeah. Rash. Mm. The rings are ring like. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we'll send them back home today. Okay, that's the end of this video. Eh?